much more Arangelino is expected to take. So said Los Angeles Governor Peter Wilson as the city where dreams are made turned into a living nightmare. This was one of the worst hit areas, the main Interstate 5 freeway, which completely collapsed and buckled as the earthquake thrust up under it, claiming the life of one police officer. More than 10,000 square miles of New South Wales, Australia's most densely populated state, have been engulfed in flames. The attack is the latest in a series of incidents on the Prince's tour. Again, he demonstrated the coolness which was apparent 12 days ago when David Kang fired a starting pistol near him during the Australia Day celebration. The attack happened during Friday morning prayers. Eyewitnesses say the man opened fire at the Ibrahim Mosque, one of the holiest sites to both Muslims and Jews. He fired indiscriminately at worshippers, killing dozens of people and injuring hundreds more. The worst massacre in Sarajevo since the city was besieged almost two years ago. The horrific attack has increased pressure on NATO to step up military force. But the British government says that would be counterproductive. I do not believe myself that, uh, that some external military intervention would somehow be a miracle solution to this trauma. Stephen Milligan's body was kept at this West London mortuary overnight while the post-mortem was carried out. Police say they're still treating the death as suspicious. The sudden and shocking death of this Tory high flyer now adds to the government's problems. It means another by-election and the possibility of another Conservative defeat. Lying dead under the green tarpaulin, Dominic Mad Dog McGlinchey, the man once feared as the most ruthless terrorist in Ireland. Found alive and well after 40 hours lost in the mountains. And amazingly, Jacqueline Greaves was only suffering from minor frostbite. The 53-year-old grandmother tells of her determination not to be beaten, of how she told the mountain, you won't get me. A small bunch of white carnations lies on the muddy bank of the excavated back garden at 25 Cromwell Street. And this house of horrors, as it's been dubbed, is slowly giving up its secrets under floorboards, behind chimney breasts and bathroom walls. The mortar struck Heathrow's southern runway at Terminal 4 at around midnight. The terrorists blatantly parading the possibility of their powers in the face of the authorities. The American pilots cleared to fire on the Bosnian Serb planes. Later by telephone, they described the mission to reporters at the Pentagon. All three immediately uh, were uh, destroyed and uh, became a fireball in the No shoot. No shoots means no survivors. The Iron Lady starts to show signs of battle fatigue. This and the... While addressing a business lunch in Chile, Lady Thatcher fainted, banging her head on a microphone. Today's ceremony finally marks South Africa's coming of age as a free democracy. Cape Town crowds have already greeted their new president. For him and the rest of South Africa, the struggle is over. We celebrate not the victory of a party, but a victory for all the people of South Africa. Final preparations are now well underway for the funeral later this morning at the church where John Smith worshipped every week. A very large number of people remember John Smith as he was, not as a public figure and a politician, but as a private man, as a very, very staunch friend, as someone who greatly influenced an enormous range of lives right across the spectrum and always fought for the good. Ayrton Senna at 34 was three times a world champion and leading the San Marino Grand Prix when his Williams Renault ploughed into a barrier at almost 200 miles an hour on a bend. He never regained consciousness. If you want to drive to France, this is where you'll embark at the huge Eurotunnel complex at Folkestone, the start of the Channel Tunnel. Returning to Normandy, these villages look familiar to those who fought their way inland, quieter now but with many reminders of the heavy price that was paid for liberty here. No one knows exactly how many died, but on D-Day alone it's estimated that 10,000 Allied troops were either killed or wounded. By the time France was liberated, 37,000 Allies had lost their lives. The German figure was even higher. At Bayer Cemetery, Harry, Ernie and Barney pay their last respects to friends and to unknown comrades in arms. 
What are the ages? 20, 22. Too young. 25, 20. Too like young that. to die. You can see them laughing and joking one time. Gone the next. Nor the years condemned. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will, will remember, remember them. them. Lochin Island, an unfamiliar name to many in the province, but now burnt indelibly into the memory like in Eskillen, Shankill Road and Greysteel. The panic and mayhem caused by the gunmen as they fired indiscriminately simply cannot be imagined. Northern Ireland Secretary Sir Patrick Mayhew visited the scene and addressed the terrorists directly. Let's just picture a future conversation that you may have with your daughter, who asks you what you did in your so-called war, Daddy. And you will say, I killed a man of 87. He was sitting with his back to me. He was watching the World Cup. I shot him dead. He was 87. She won't think that the record of a hero, will she? The mull of Kintyre's desolate coastline and the cliffs along from those the Chinook flew into, claiming all 29 lives on board. We're five miles now from the scene of the crash and weather conditions are very similar to what they would have been like last night. O.J. Simpson, once the golden image of an American hero, last seen being booked into a Los Angeles jail. As America remains riveted by the sporting legend's bizarre flight from justice across Californian freeways, there's reports that a key witness to the murders has refused to give evidence and has granted freedom from prosecution. The Tories have lost the nation's trust. Romanians are stunned and angry by the news of baby smuggling. They thought that was in the past. But children can still be bought. The Moonies are said to have collaborated with gypsies. It was like walking through hell. If there is such a place, then surely it cannot be worse than the refugee camps in Zaire, to where more than a million ran from the civil war in Rwanda. After 16 nights of anguish, Last night, Karen and Roger Humphreys could relax for the first time, their family complete once again. We don't actually know a lot about what actually happened and what the police um, did, because I, in particular, didn't want, didn't want to know. I just wanted them to ring up and say they got her back. Got come, come and pick her up, sort of thing. I didn't want to know the thought they got her, and that's what they did. Although passengers will find still more services are running during this industrial action, Rail Track knows that represents only a short-term success. The final exit in this gruesome drama with an audience to the end. Unable to believe, one son, Roderick, could hate his parents enough to bludgeon them to death and that his brother Mark was prepared to help bury their bodies. They marked the ceasefire with gunfire, a familiar sound cutting across the night here in Belfast just minutes before the deadline. In nationalist areas, they celebrated. As crowds gathered outside security bases, hundreds marched along the Falls Road to join them. Land Rovers were jostled, and at Andersonstown in West Belfast, in a scene repeated across the city, they hoisted the Irish tricolour in an act of defiance. While the prospect of peace has been embraced with celebrations and demonstrations across Belfast, the government remains to be convinced of the true intentions of the IRA. This morning, search teams will concentrate on examining the wreck of the Estonia, discovered yesterday in an area of the Baltic known as the ship's graveyard because of its treacherous currents. I, I do feel now that I can look back and think, well, I think my children will speak well of me, and I think my wife will have good memories, and uh, I think, you know, I won't be scared of saying, hello, God. A last defiant act from loyalist gunmen. A volley of shots to mark the ceasefire captured by amateur video near Belfast Shankill Road on Wednesday. In Belfast city centre, the two communities came together. I have learnt 
as you a know? Protestant that I need my Catholic friends and the Catholic yeah, friends probably. need the Protestants. Okay. Well, hopefully now that my children are young, that they'll be able to grow up not knowing what friends was. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is poised to publish the results of the Cash for Questions inquiry. He may also signal the sort of broader investigation into MPs' outside interests demanded by Liberal Democrats. Nobody trusts this government any longer. It's a government now riddled with sleeves and the Prime Minister is left with a clear choice. Get a grip or lose the trust of the people of this country. Supporters of Trade Minister Neil Hamilton say the Cash for Questions inquiry rather than political expediency should determine his fate. Allied forces are now pouring into the region on nothing like the scale used in Desert Storm, but still in sufficient quantity to assure Saddam, if he's serious about attacking Kuwait, the West is serious about defending it. It's a staggering defeat for the Democrats, placing a question mark over the prestige of Bill Clinton as president and his political future. For the first time, a senior Russian minister has said Grozny won't be stormed before tomorrow. Previously, the Russian line was that Grozny would just be blockaded, not taken. It's a change of tone some find alarming. According to the latest opinion poll, only 15% of voters still believe the Tories are the party of low taxation. The same poll puts Labour nearly 40 points ahead of the Conservatives, its biggest ever lead. That news will do nothing to improve party morale after the damage inflicted this week. 61 million lottery tickets were sold for Saturday's draw, but only one matched the six winning numbers to scoop the record jackpot of £17,808,003, a prize that may never be equaled again.